Hi everyone, it's uh, Papa Ron here, and I'm, I'm trying to go after these gypsy moths, okay? So what I did, I set up, I bought this at the store at Urban Nate and Naturals, and it's really good. And what it is, it, you've got a pheromone, and I, I know you'll see that on YouTube. But what I came up with an idea, because they said wear gloves because the, the gypsy moth will be attracted to you. See, it's going in there now. So I came up with this idea, and I'm going to keep you posted, but the package, when I open the package up, they go nuts over it. See how they're attracted to it? So what I'm going to do, see that guy right there, he's, he's going crazy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a simple little thing that I'm going to try for the first time. Taking this package out, it must still have some of the pheromone on it. I should be wearing gloves. And I'm going to take it. I just got an old plastic container. I'm going to tape it here on the underside. Okay. Another reason why I'm going to do this is because I put some in this. This is a moth trap right here. And you turn it on at night and you can catch the moths. Well, I put some in of this package in there and they're nuts over it. There's all kinds of them in here. You see? Now this one is designed to catch moths, but I put a little bit, I think you can see it in there. I'm not going to open it up because there's too many of them in there. But there's the there's packages in there. I just stuck it in there just for the fun of it. So I got thinking about it. I'm going to try this. This works good, but it catches moths and everything at night. And it works okay. But this here, now I've taken this. Now I'm going to go, i got to get a little bit of water here. Just a second. Just add a little bit of water in the bottom of it. Put some soap in it. Okay. Put your lid on it. And I'm going to drill a couple of holes in the side of it. take one and put it in the top just a little one and then I'm gonna get a clip here run it through here you guys can do all this no problem and then I'll hang it from the tree and see what happens okay and I'm gonna keep you posted now there's another thing I thought about doing is trying to capture a female and stick it in there with with, uh, with sticky tape or something and see if that works. But anyways, I'll keep you posted and see if this works out. Okay? Thanks a lot. Okay, it's Papa Ron back again and I'm going to try, as I said in the last segment there, I was going to try something different. So I what I did is I went around the property and I found the female ones and they don't fly okay but I've captured about a half a dozen of them and what I'm going to do is I made up this container and I'm not going to bore you I drilled holes in it and there's a soapy container there so you just got to get a container and I got some two-way carpet tape I'm just going to put this on here because I don't want these these girls to die in here I don't want them to drown so I'm going to put the tape in there. You see how they, there, there's somebody coming here? There's a guy right there coming. Now these won't fly, and they're pretty easy to catch. So I'm just going to take them out of the container, and I'm just going to gently stick them on there. Because as long as I can keep them alive, the better. Okay? Now... The more I put on there, I figure, well, at least I'm getting rid of them, and also more chance that they're going to attract the males. All right, so now I've got them stuck down there pretty good. And I, and I, I use this container 
because uh, I don't know it's clear and I thought I'm gonna give it a try anyways and then I'm just gonna seal it all up I got water soapy water in the bottom of it because it's hard to get right now there's such a demand well one of them fell in but that's okay it's hard, is there such a demand for these it's so hard to get them but as I explained before and I'm going to show you what happens here I use the the wrapper and I suck it up. Now, if we, go, we want to take a little walk here, come on down here with me. It's been about a half an hour. It's a nice day for a walk. Now, this is just the wrapper, is what I use. So don't, that's what I'm trying to say is don't throw out the wrapper. Come in here. And if you look here, that's that one that I got. And there's probably in a half an hour, I don't know, I've probably got at least a half a dozen in there. Okay, so it works, doesn't cost anything. Just uh, do the wrapper part. It seems to work good. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna get back to you about the, uh, the female ones, okay? So have a good day on the war against the gypsy moths. Okay, it's Papa Ron here again against the war against the gypsy moths, and I got another weapon that I use. And you gotta be really careful with this, obviously. It's just a torch. I duct taped it to a long aluminum pole, and I'm mostly interested in the female moths at this point and the egg masses. So just take a look here, down here. See, there's, there's two females here laying eggs. Alright, that's pretty good. There's a male coming out. So it's just a simple matter of just taking a torch. They don't even move. Ah, they're done. That's right. Now let's go over. Here's well, these are males. Um, there's some eggs there. We might as well do them. There's a female. There's another one. There's another female. Every time you do this, every time you do this, you're getting rid of 500,000 eggs. All right. Now there's 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 a four of them right there, five of them right in here, or six, seven, eight. All right, watch this. And they don't move, they're, they're not going anywhere. They won't fly. Now I probably got rid of, what, you know, 3,000 eggs. A lot easier than getting them when they're caterpillars. There's an egg mass right there. This, there's no insecticide, or pesticide. There's some more in there. Can you get a shot of those? There's a male there with it. Just a little touch. I don't know, there's another one. It's pretty easy. Then here's some more right here. Just to show you your tree, you know. Works good, just be careful of the fire. Anyways, I'm gonna get, oh, let's go back over here. Come on over here for a second. I remember I told you about the female ones. I couldn't hang this up because it, it's, uh, it doesn't work that good hanging it up. So I put it up here. And that's only been out here 10 minutes. There's nothing in it yet, but I'll get back to you on it. Okay, thanks a lot. I hope that helps it out. Papa Ron saying goodbye. Okay, well, I tried this out. I couldn't hang it up very well because it just kept tipping all the time. So I just left it on the table here. This is the one, the container where I got the females. I captured the females and I taped them to the top here. And it worked pretty good, as you can see. But I have a feeling it's not going to work unless I keep putting live ones in here. It, uh, it just didn't attract, or the container wasn't right. But they're, the, the females are dead now. So that's going to be a tough job. Anyways, uh, it works. You can try it. You see I got some that was in one day. It doesn't work anywhere near as good as these things. But they're hard to get, of course. Okay? All right, now this is the one, I made up two containers here. I don't think I showed you this one. This is just an ice cream carton. And this is the one where I used the, the package that the pheromones came in. I thought I'd give it a try. And I haven't opened it up and it's just gonna be a surprise for everybody here to see what if I caught anything. I'm pretty sure I did because there was a lot of activity. This has been about uh, maybe five or six hours. Usually 24 hours will be good. But you know, did pretty good. Okay, so that's soapy. Remember, it's always got to be soapy water. They won't, they'll fly out again. 
just drill a couple holes on the side and there's the package okay so it works pretty good for uh, just having don't throw out your package I'm going to show you the other one as soon as I go back up the hill and another thing I noticed with the other ones I had a lot of activity down by the water so I moved them around I moved them over there and the ones that I bought I put another one down there and it's really doing well okay Okay, that, now I'm back at this one. This is the one I showed you here. And I'm only going to take it out, but it's pretty well full. So it, again, though, the packages are really good for that. And uh, that, that's not been a day. That's been about six hours. But I really think this is the best approach to it. If you take a look, you'll, you'll, there's, a, there's one right here. Bring it close up on that. And that's a female and it's white. And they don't fly. They won't fly or anything. I think it might be even dead. But anyways, it's going to be in about two seconds. Here it goes. And that's the end of that. Okay. This is this this works really good. You can reach up into a pole, um, a tree. I mean, sorry. I I did a lot today. You just take it up there, and it's safe. You don't have to climb ladders or anything. Got to be careful, of course. You know, you're dealing with fire in the woods. But here, for instance, right over here. Come on over here. Here's a mess right in here. That's the end of that. And there's another one there. That's the end of that. It's just a touch. You don't have to. There's another one right here. Just a little touch is all you need to do. You don't have to start the whole fire. Okay, I'm going to keep you posted how things are going, anyways. Thanks. Okay, I was just walking back up and you just gotta check around here. Just coincidentally, I put the tape the tree here. And coincidentally, there's an egg mass right there on the duct tape. Just bring it up close there so you can see. Right there. So you can spot them pretty easy. And it's just a little fox there. That's the end of that. Now there's another female in there. It's laying the eggs right there, right there. So it's just a simple thing of going like this and you probably, you know, killed off about four or five hundred of them or whatever. Anyways, take it easy.